Yes, yes, we're clapping. Big up the stage. Wow. Evening. Hello. Hello. Let's hear it for protein powder. Way. We do some jokes. It's essentially all I know is jokes. Uh, my name is Alf. Uh, like most people my age, I'm 36. <laughs> Any money I make from the show this evening, I'm going to use to buy a new heated pool mat. Yeah, so thank you for the warm welcome. <laughs> I used to be an optician before I did this. I used to be an optician. My patients said I'd be terrible at comedy, but they could see me now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what can I tell you about me? Well, I've got the arms of Ed Sheeran, I've got the legs of David Beckham, and a lifetime ban from Madame Two Swords. <laughs> So what, what have I been doing with my day to day? Well, my brother came round to my house, dressed as Ron Weasley to paint the downstairs toilet. My wife dressed as Hermione Granger to do the hoovering. And I dressed as Dumbledore to do the dishes. Just your completely average day. Pottering about the house. Yay! Oh, yeah, you are. You see, it's hard to clarify what my act actually is. It's essentially one-liners um, and puns and props. A lady came up to me at the show and she said, Alf, if you had to describe your act in a nutshell, how would you do it? And I said... <laughs> I said it's basically <laughs> one-liners, puns and props. Um, this at this point in my act, I realised I'm quite more jokes for this bit. So, uh, just keep it on. I, um, I recently went on a holiday to a little place you may have heard of called Argentina. Ooh. Ooh. Fun fact for you, Argentina. Not particularly warm this time of year. Except bordering on chili. Oh. And I, and I set myself a challenge. I set myself a little challenge. The first one, it's a protein joke, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> that, that, that was when I peaked. That was when I peaked. Um, I set myself a little challenge while I was there to find a new wrestling instructor. Turns out a good one, surprisingly hard to pin down. Well, that's <laughs> 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 You're probably trying to figure out something. Shut up, Brian. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do it. Um, <laughs> I'm probably trying to figure out where you know me from. I, I was in a band, a band you may have heard, a little band called The Dead Badgers, and we just did middle of the road type stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what have we got here? Well, well, well. <laughs> At least someone in the audience is thinking, hang on a minute, why is he, why is he painted the middle one to look like Mr. Blobby? And if that is you, well spotted. Literally. Here's a question for you. I had to write out a check the other day, rather big check. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out how many zeros are there in a million? Six. Six, and it? See, I thought that, but it just doesn't look right, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> so, I got a job doing the dry cleaning. Uh, I got a job doing the dry cleaning at a local convent. Uh, picked up a few dirty habits along the way. Oh. And I was there the other day, someone broke into my house. They broke into my house, they stole everything from my utility room. Everything apart from a small pot of fabric softener, which I suppose is some comfort. <laughs> <laughs> and I've taken up blindfolded archery. Ever tried blindfolded archery? No, you don't know what you're missing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bloody good joke. Oh, well. <laughs> now we've all heard that saying, haven't we? We've all heard that saying, there's no I in team. We've heard this, haven't we? No I in team. I like to think clearly. I like to think that. Never tried writing in ancient Egyptian. <laughs> <laughs> Cardboard, you're easily impressed. <laughs> <laughs> um, never has my act been summed up so well. Um, Alf 
is not my real name, it's a fancy stage name. So my real name is Max, uh, which isn't a common name nowadays, but in medieval times, people were called Max a lot. I've changed my last name, changed my last name to the word shotgun, because uh, I've always fancied a double barrel surname. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an old fact here, look how fact here. I uh, I used to have a third nipple. Ah. Feels good to get out of my chest. Oh. <laughs> I've put a uh, I've got a sticker on the back of my car that says Harry kills Voldemort at the end. It's my brother's idea and I showed him. He said no, I said put a spoiler on the back. <laughs> <laughs> So I've upgraded. I have upgraded my car to uh, to a van. Many times I need somewhere to keep the props. And um, this is what I've done. I've painted my van dark green to look like my favourite mint chocolate, of course. And it's actually come in handy because there's a car park just down the end of the road where I live. I've got a sign that says, after eight, parking is free. <laughs> after eight, parking is free. <laughs> Works better if you repeat the punchline five seconds after, right? I'll remember. Sometimes. <laughs> Not all the time. But I will try it in a minute. Are you guys ready for a song? Yeah! Okay, so I've, I've, um, because I've written a, uh, I've written a dance anthem. And, um, I'm sure, I'm sure you guys can sing along to it. And it's actually, uh, and it goes a little bit like this. Right? North Tort, let's see if we can do it. Right, here we go. Chocolate, orange, mint, fruit. Orange, mint, fruit. Chocolate, 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 orange, mint, fruit. Because we got a lovely club classics, haven't you? You got a lovely club classics, haven't you? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you probably think she says, says maybe it's got another joke to go with this prop. Yeah? Wait for it, ready? Here we are. No, that was getting that bit, actually. Right, anyway. Right, then. What's I going to do next? Um, oh, yeah, I was going to tell you about my own my, uh, mind. I live on my goat farm. Uh, I lived there with my partner. Uh, we split up, we still live together. We thought it was important to stay together for the kids. Um, yeah. Why did we split up? Well, I shaved off her eyebrows while she was sleeping. I thought she'd be angry, but she didn't look it. She was, she was angry. I spent all our life savings. I spent all my life savings on one of those football VAR systems. She said I crossed the line. I said, we'll see about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what the next joke is, to be fair. Um, we'll, we will stand here and I will figure it out. Hang on. Yeah, I've lost it. Anyway. So why did we split up? We split up because she was stealing from me. She stole all my Kevin Bacon films. And she stole all my small French cakes. On well, the plus side, I am now footloose and fancy free. Oh. Hey. At a young age, I was adopted. I was adopted by a man called Daz. Or as I come to know, it's my non-biological father. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> he, uh, <coughs> he left at a young age. <coughs> he, uh, he left one day to go and buy camouflage clothing and never came back. At least we don't think he came back. <laughs> He abandoned, me at, he abandoned me at a country house, and that's when I developed national trust issues. Um, <laughs> my, uh, my grand died in quicksand, which still hasn't quite sunk in. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we were at Grandad's funeral, we didn't know how he died. <laughs> we were at Grandad's funeral, we didn't know how he died. The vicar told us he'd been hit on the head by a tennis ball. Still has a lovely service. <laughs> 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 I visit my uncle once a month to help him apply his fake tan, very much the sun he never had. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a conjoined uncle as well, yeah, on my father's side.
That's just, uh, that's just a diagram to illustrate my sophisticated palette. Growing <laughs> 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 well, we up, we didn't have a lot of money. I had a hand me down calculator with no multiplication symbol on it, so at times are hard. I had a medical condition where I could smell coconut from 10 metres away, and that was ideal for my first shot because I was a bounty hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some sad news. Can I get an <coughs> Unfortunately, today my obese parrot died. Oh. Oh. It is, however, a huge weight off my shoulders. <laughs> I've got another pet. I've got, another pet. I've got a pet panda. I've got a pet panda called Little Richard. And he eats a wop baba doo bop, a lot of bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> Which is actually my favourite joke in the whole thing, but sometimes. Uh, I'm going to leave you in a moment, thankfully. Uh, but I'm going to tell you about what I do for a living, because clearly, you can tell I don't do this for a living. Some of this is shit, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, I, I, um, I, work in, I work in Tesco's um, on the. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. It's um, I work on the washing powder aisle in Tesco's. Let's see if this is going back in. I think I'm going back in. I've broken it, John. Is that the joke? No, it's not. Is it funny? No. No, that wasn't a joke, was it? Right. <laughs> I work at Tesco's. Thank you.